YouTube, this is TMAX95 here, and uh, today I'm going to show you my aquarium. Um, it is actually being in the process of torn down. Um, now, I know what you guys are thinking, and no, I'm not quitting the hobby. Um, the hobby almost beat me, but it didn't, and um, so don't get worried. Um, as of tomorrow, um, it'll probably be back up and looking good. There's actually one fish in there, it's a blue hippo, and he's hiding right there. Um, but uh, I'm tearing it down and cleaning all the rock, and um, that's about it. And my corals are all in here. Um, I know you're thinking they're piled in there pretty badly. Well, they are. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Two weeks ago, I cleaned my rock, and here it is. Um, this is weathered for about two weeks, and I've rinsed it off three times. Um, so, it's ready to be put back in. It's, like, brand new, basically. Um, but I will um, link another video to this one of it up and running. And there you can see my cleanup crew, and there's the hippo. Um, and the water's kind of a green tint because the algae in it, but um, I'm going to be doing a water change to get rid of that. And so uh, I will link the other video to it. Um, happy reading. Hello YouTube, this is TMAX95 here. Um, as you can see, it's been about uh, five hours since I uh, recently tore down the rocks and uh, got the sand real clean and sucked out hair algae. Um, you can actually, for once, see my fish, and you can see my corals. Now, it does look green in this camera for some reason, but it's not. Um, there's a green tint, or a green tint on the glass, but um, there is st I still have to clean the equipment. Um, and this back wall still is kind of a problem, um, but uh, it's really done a great job. Um, my corals kind of look like they've seen better days but for what they've been through um, they're really doing good and that also goes for the uh, um, the hippo because you know he's a very sensitive fish tomorrow I will be uh, tomorrow I will be um, adding this live rock to my aquarium um, this is the previous live rock I've had um, it just was covered in hair algae. I actually um, power washed this two different times and then rinsed it off three different times. And it's been weathering for about two weeks. Um, it actually technically isn't live rock, I guess you could say anymore, because everything on it is dead. Um, but I cleaned it and they don't have a funny smell or anything. Uh, they're they're good to go. It's not gonna hurt my aquarium in any way. Um, but hopefully tomorrow I will make more progress on the back wall, and um, I will be able to actually get most of the hair algae out, and I can start setting my corals up with this uh, live rock. Um, this actually isn't all of it. There's still I took about this much more out today that was covered in hair algae. Um, that has to sit for another two weeks and I will power wash it and uh, get it all cleaned up um, but uh, it's T-Max 95 and um, I'm quite proud of the outcome here um, and uh, that just goes to show you everybody hits hard times when they're reefing and I pulled through mine if I pulled through this you can pull through just about anything Hello, Keep YouTube. On this is T-Max 95 here and today we are going to be doing the other part of the video on the teardown. Um, this is about two days later. And um, if you look, it seems to me like it's done a bunch. I mean, it literally has taken probably at least 70% of the hair algae away. Um, really, the only amount that remains is on the corals that I couldn't get off because I couldn't really take the corals out of the water long enough to get them off. Or it's on the back wall. Um, we'll go ahead and do an update from left to right. First, we have some button polyps, the brown ones. Then, we have a trumpet coral. 
Then in the back we have pulsating Xenia, which don't really pulsate right the second they do. They're just not right now. Then we have the waving hand corals, which I bought at the Frag Swap, the Central Ohio Reef Association Frag Swap. Um, for 20 bucks, I got that whole rock. It was a heck of a deal. Um, then we have the angel's hair. Then we have some green mushrooms, which are kind of blending in with the uh, hair algae right there because I couldn't get it because the mushrooms were out of the water a long time. Then we have the candy cane. Then we have the orange recordia, which I don't think it's a Yuma or Yumi. Uh, the ones that get real big, you know, like the ones that are way bigger than 50 cent size. This one's about quarter size, maybe a little bigger. So I'm assuming it's the regular one. Then we have the frog spawn, which has about 20 heads, last time I counted. And back here we have some pink zoanthids, um, green hair algae, and uh, some green button pull-ups. Then up at the top we have some zoanthids, which aren't open. I think they might be getting too much flow. I'm not for sure yet. And uh, down here we have a baby kidney tree and a mystery coral. If anybody want to, um, if you know what that is and want to tell me, go ahead, feel free. Then we had the blast, uh, the blasto, and the orange uh, acan. Here is what I think are fire and ice zoanthids, if I'm correct. And then we have the purple monopora, which isn't really purple anymore, but it's still growing. And we have the Kenya tree. Now, um, it's not really open right this second. But there's a baby one down there, too. There's also a lawnmower blending here. I picked them up uh, Sunday. And here's the overview. I might get some new fish this Friday because uh, my local fish store is having a buy one, get one half off this Friday. So I'll probably go check that out. And um, so tell me what you think. Tell me if I made a big, um, if I got a lot of the hair algae out. And, um...